Hey, what's going on everyone? x this here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing, um, you know, the dungeon Mythic Zero, Naltharius, I'm pretty sure it's called. Um, yep, so we're doing that dungeon today. First time doing this one, so hopefully that goes well. Obviously, playing Affliction. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, and obviously make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Helps me out a ton. Let's grow this channel, man. But yeah, just giving my reaction to this dungeon today. Hopefully, we can get some more loot. If you didn't check out the previous one, then obviously go and do so. It was a little bit of a scuffed one, unfortunately, because, um, uh, you know, I was just rushing to go to the dungeon and everything, trying to get my talents sorted and, and everything like that. But managed to get it done in the end. But yeah, haven't really seen anything um, about this dungeon. Haven't really looked up any tax or anything like that. We're just going in blind, really. So, let's go. Let's go. Alright, come on. Big damage here. Boom. Gotta be careful. We got a demo lock in our group. Nice, man. Nice. I want to see if he can do a lot of damage. He'll do a lot of single target-wise, um, I think. So, that'd be solid. But Affliction, man. Affliction's absolutely pumping right now. Nice. There we go. Alright, so we are currently 355 item level. And here are my talents. This is the build we're playing. Um, I need to go through my talents and everything like that. It's just the same build as the last um, video and everything. Just because uh, that's what I chose for that video. So that's what we've gone with today. I don't know what the best talents are at the moment. This is kind of just the build that I decided to go with. So definitely there's probably better ones out there and everything but it's all good regardless here we go got everybody up nice good job we went with like a like a heavy add build because um we can do a lot of damage in here because there's a lot of ads it seems oh i should have dark glared a lot sooner oh wow i didn't even pop dark glare there there we go a little bit rusty though a little bit rusty as you can tell unfortunately but it's okay. You know, Dragonflight didn't come out too long ago, so it doesn't matter that we're rusty at the moment. This is only Mythic Zero. It's not Mythic Plus, so it really doesn't matter regardless. I'm just happy that we can actually get our dungeon quest done because I've had to, you know, delete so many quests. Like, when, like for example, when I was doing the campaign and I had, like, quests from a different zone, I would have to delete those if I wanted to continue with the campaign. Because what I would normally do is complete a zone 100. Um, like every single um, quest I would do. Like all the side quests and the main quests and stuff like that. But um, when I was doing the campaign in the last zone. Um, I had to delete some other quests. Because my quest log was full with all the goddamn dungeon quests. Which is insane. Because it would be like go talk to someone in the Waking Shores or something. Right? It would be like... Um, a different quest and now i'll be like well at the moment i can't go there <laughs> i just can only pick up the main story quest until i can you know free up some quests in the quest log but here we are everything's all good now all right nice but yeah i've pretty much 100 percented every zone now i think other than the last one where the main city is and what's it called um thraldrazus or have you say it i'm pretty sure at least I maybe have I done the Azure Span 100%? I'm, I'm not 100% sure actually. I think I have. I think I have. But there's probably going to be quests I actually missed. So, um, from my understanding, I did my best, okay? <laughs> I did my best to try and do all the quests. But when you hit max level, the motivation to do all the side quests kind of goes. But because obviously you're max level, you want to gear and stuff. But we shall see. Done the main story quest though. So, that was really, really cool. Alright. Nice my wave, watch out for that. Here we go. Big damage now. This drain life hits like a truck, which is cool. Mavic Rapture. This demo lock's just popping off right now. Awesome to see. Nice, good job I moved. God, it hates me, this boss. You see that? Does not like me at all, dude. My damage is slowly going up, though. Slowly but surely. Damage is skyrocketing. Nice. 
Sorry, Solo, I can't message you at the moment, my dude. I'm in a dungeon. Not that he can hear me, but if he watches this video, then I'll see here now. Alright, Mavic Rapture. Drain Soul. Boss hates me again. Nice. This dungeon looks cool so far, though. I like these, um, these, like, boss types and stuff. Like, uh, just, like, the race of it. It's kind of cool. They're, like, lava people. I'll be careful here. That's gonna hurt on a tyrannical week. That's all I'm saying. Imagine that, man. Boss damage increased and everything. Oh, my God. That's gonna be tough. There we go. Do I get loot? Three, two, one. Boom. No loot. No loot. Okay. It's all good. First boss down. He got a crit mastery ring. I wonder if he needs it. Probably. Um, nice. See the corruption here. And then we can dark glare this. Dark glare coming. There we go. Boom. Soul rot. Now I can use my drain life. Ah, big damage, man. Big damage. Not as much as this Windwalker. Oh, wait. There we go. Just overtook him. But the Windwalker's pump as well. Especially on, like, multi-targets. To be fair, they've really got it both. Really solid. All right, let's go. That guy's sleeping. Yeah, we don't want to disturb your rest up there, my dude. All right. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, I can't wait to try out the new content, though, when it's out. Like, Mythic Plus and, like, the raid and stuff. That's going to be really, really fun. Maybe I should do, like... Maybe I should do some PvP videos, too. I have been wanting to gear up, um, like, PvP gear and stuff because it's so simple now. All you need to do is buy the honor gear. Or you can get the, like, war mode gear, obviously. Not as good as um, the standard honor gear, though, unfortunately. But it's still quite decent. All you need to do is just buy the honor gear and then you're set. And if you want to use the honor gear in PvE, then you can obviously decide to upgrade it if you wanted. I think I just lagged there. Um, but yeah, you just have to buy it once now and you're sorted, which is very, very ideal. Um, which is really, really nice. But obviously, I want to get Keystone Master and stuff when the new season comes out. Or when the season comes out. So that's going to be very, very exciting to obviously do if I can do that. And hopefully do some rated battlegrounds or something. That would be really, really fun. Maybe try out solo shuffle or something. I have no idea what the plan is for videos. But right now, just enjoying um, Dragonflight. Nearly said Shadowlands. Taking, you know, each day as it comes and stuff like that. Leveling up some ults and stuff. So, everything's really, really good. Just enjoying my time at the moment. I don't want to go too hard in this expansion at the moment. Because I don't want to get burnt out. Like, I shouldn't get burnt out anyway because I love playing WoW. You know, WoW's my main game anyway and I've been loving every second so far. But we're just chilling at the moment, right? There's no point in rushing because right now Mythic Plus isn't out. As I recall this video, you know, the new raid isn't out. Nothing like that's out. So we may as well just take our time get gearing and stuff. Have fun. Have a blast. Just go through all the content, you know. That's what we like to do, man. That's what we like. But it's nearly Christmas, dude. Nearly Christmas. Oh, Got to get that Christmas spirit going, you know. I already watched a Christmas movie. I watched Elf the other day, which is pretty cool. Um, that's such a throwback film, though. Like, Elf is a good Christmas movie. Now, I don't watch Christmas movies that often. Usually, like, every year. Well, no. I, nah, not usually. But, like, last year, I'm pretty sure. I think it was last year. I decided to rewatch all the Harry Potters. Um, because there's like scenes and stuff in Harry Potter where they have like a big banquet and stuff and it get, it gets me in the mood for Christmas because it's snowing you know you've got the owl and stuff you've got the big banquets and everything everyone enjoying food and I don't know Harry Potter is just really good you know really good um, you know I was going to say series um, you know it's just really good film and stuff like all of them are so I really like watching that Awesome. Oh, there we go. Oh, I wonder if they would ever consider doing a Harry Potter when, um, you know, Harry's older and stuff. Like, because how it ended um, on the last movie, 
it would kind of set you up for a new film because I think they're doing like a play at the moment called Harry Potter and the Cursed Child or something like that. But I don't know if they would e ever like adapt that into like a film. Um, I don't know what that's about. Well, I'm, I'm guessing from the title of the play, it would be like Harry Potter's kid or something. Um, or one of the children being cursed and then they kind of got to like, you know, he kind of has to teach him to not be like Voldemort or something. I don't know. I have no idea, man. Ugh. No idea whatsoever. But it'd be cool to see. But at the same time, they probably don't want to ruin. Like, they probably... I don't want to say ruin. That sounds bad. They probably don't want to adapt it because it ended good. All the movies have been really good. So just kind of like... It's kind of like a leave it there type thing. But... It'd be, it'd be nice to see some more Harry Potter stuff. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. If you came for WoW, then I'm sorry. <laughs> because I'm talking about Harry Potter right now. I apologise. But that's what I do. I talk about random stuff all the time. Alright, what can we get from the next boss? That's the real question. So the boss is here. Loot wise. <gasps> I need the Haldor fan. Give me that Haldor fan, man. Please. I'm going to dismiss my pet just in case he pulls everything. There we go. Oh, we're getting some blacksmith. Do you see that? Damn, maybe you can craft me some gear for my warrior. That'd be solid. For when he hits 70. <laughs> I am... Um, I'm going to save Dark Glare. Big damage. Oh my god. No wonder I've taken a lot of damage. I, already, I still had my goddamn burning rush up. I still have it up. What the hell? There we go. Should probably spec into Haunt, actually, but this build's okay at the moment. Here we go. Do I move away? Oh, okay. That's different. I should have probably done all of these on Heroic first and then eased my way into Mythics. But realistically, right, they shouldn't, it shouldn't be that hard, right? Surely. Um, as long as I move out of stuff, you know, do rotation correctly, or at least just try and do a lot of damage, everything should go fine. I say that though, so I'm guessing in, when you do keys, you want to run away as far as possible with that, so it doesn't spread to the group, because the tank doesn't have to move and everything like that. But, can you get Aloest here? No, that's good. Even... Me being a little name, you still can't get Aloes there. Nice. Gotta be careful. And then we can soar up. Move away. That's gonna hurt on a tyrannical week. 100%. If you accidentally get hit by that fire, man. Oh my god. Oh, ready for raiding. What? Okay. Nice, dude. We just all got achievements for that, basically. Oh my god. Woohoo! Another one. I'm going to put in chat another one. <laughs> Tank's going to hate me now. What's this? Um, oh, you need blacksmithing. Oh my god. That's awesome. <laughs> he said, you lucker. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go up here. <laughs> That's three pieces in the past two dungeons. That's three pieces of loot. I got um, a belt. I got a ring. And then in my we uh, bag, I got a weapon. A dagger. So I just need an offhand now. Do I go down here? I think we do. Or down here? Oh. Uh, which way do we go, guys? Is it? Uh, if I go down here, the burning cauldron, does that take me here? Chamber of flames. Burning cauldron. I don't think it matters. Surely it doesn't matter, right? We'll soon find out when there's 50 million people. Oh, hold up. Wait, can we get down here? Uh, I don't think this is smart, guys. Wait, do we not take full damage? Yeah, we do. He just basically took none there, though. Oh, did he rocket boots? May have used his erasure there, actually. I'm coming, Jerloff. I'm coming over there. I will help you with the dance. All right, the Shadow Fury then. Into a Cedar Corruption. Into a Soul Rock. All right, and then put Agony on everyone. 
Here we go. Dark Glare comes out. Nice. I don't think Jerloff's got a single piece from these two dungeons, but this boss is going to give him something. 100%. Guaranteed. Alright. There we go. Wait, did I not write in chat earlier? I thought I put XD, but unless I accidentally posted that to Solar, I don't know. Alright, there we go. Boop! Drain life! Kick this! Bada bing! Bada boom! But for the past couple days, I've literally been sat in a garden chair from outside because. So, I got given a brand new chair as a present for. It was either my birthday or Christmas last year. But for the like, past couple months, every time I like sit on my chair, it just randomly goes down, and I keep having to stand up and then, you know, um, bring the chair back up to the original height, and then I sit back down, and then, like, 10 seconds later, it goes down, so I'd have to, like, readjust it at least, like, 20 or 30 times a day. Maybe more, I'm not really sure. It sucks. So, you know, I ended up contacting the place. The reason why I didn't contact the place sooner is because, like, there's a year warranty, but I didn't want to contact them because we didn't have the receipt. So I decided, well, there's no point, you know, contacting them if we don't have a receipt. Because all, all they're going to do is ask for a receipt. But then it turns out, and um, they said, no, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, all you need to do is show us, like, a bank statement. And then we'll fix it for free for you. But I was, my warranty ended. Like, I contacted them on the 30th, I think, or something like that. And my warranty <laughs> ran out on the 26th, I think it was. So, like, I can't remember the dates exactly. It was something like that. But they said they would fix it for free anyway, which was really, really kind of them. So that's awesome. So, and they replaced like the gas lift or whatever they said of the chair. So hopefully that's fixed it. Like it hasn't gone down since I got it today. So it's Monday as I record this video and, and I got it back today. So over the weekend and stuff, I was literally sat on a goddamn outs outside chair, a garden chair, wooden one with like, um, you know, pillows on it to make sure... <laughs> It um is comfortable, so it actually wasn't that bad. It just wasn't really tall, the chair, but hey-ho, what can you do? This chair I have now is really comfy and everything because um, it's just obviously better than that one. So I got my chair back, which is awesome. So now my back shouldn't hurt as much. <laughs> um, There we go. Because I can actually sit with good posture, but I still don't, which... Isn't good. Make sure you have good posture, man. Watch out for the charge. This seems so straightforward, though. Really straightforward at the moment. Gotta be careful here. Vile taint. Gonna heal myself up. Nice. I wish there was a different animation for my Inquisitor's eye, because I feel like it never attacks, and then you will see it attack a little bit, like sometimes, like occasionally you see it like, um, you know, do, oh, oh my god, okay, this is going to be hard on a Tyrannical Week actually, it's kind of like a DPS race because of the lava, um, but yeah, you, you see it attack, but the animation doesn't really show you that it's attacking really, you just have to pay attention to Oh my god, dude. Hold up. Just gotta pay attention to the little green dot, basically. The little green stream that it shoots out. Got loads of Christmas presents wrapped today, though, so that's really good. Basically, done all of my Christmas shopping other than, like, um, a couple bits, so that's obviously decent, too. Damn, man! Okay, we got there in the end. I was saying that this is an easy boss, and obviously wasn't. Told you, Jerloff, Jerloff got a piece. I literally called that. Did I not call that? Absolutely insane. I literally said you would get a piece. I knew it. Uh, if I could spout, there we go. Absolutely awesome. Hello, birds. How are you doing today? You're gonna go down into the lava. Alright, I've actually got to be careful here because the healer's not here. And I don't really want to get knocked off the map either. So, yeah. 
Let's just not go by the edge there. And let's heal ourselves up and everything so we don't die. Nice. I can't wait to try Mythic Plus out though. I just, I, I wonder what dungeons are going to be really, really difficult. I have no idea, but um, we'll obviously see when that comes out. So I've done, I did the one in the Aharan Plains, or how you pronounce that place. I never know how you pronounce that, man. So I did that dungeon, the Knock Hard Offensive, or whatever it's called. So that was pretty cool. I like the fact that it, it incorporated the world there. Like, that was cool. It was basically like I was questing with bosses there. So that was nice to see. Literally could use your dragon riding abilities and stuff. Awesome. And this one, you know, is inside this big, like, I guess this looks like an underground type cave that they're hiding out in, which is nice. So, really, really nice. But the real question is, Rathian or Sabalian? Which one? Which one are you guys picking? Um, part of me thinks one of them's evil. I don't know why. I just have that feeling, you know. They're probably not. Don't get me wrong. Like, I don't know enough about either of them, to be honest. Like, obviously, I know Rathian because of Wrath of Lich King. No, oh my god, what the? Cataclysm. Goddamn cat Cataclysm x -ray this. Um, because of Deathwing and stuff. But then, also, there's Sabalian now. So, that's really, really strange. Like, doing the campaign and stuff was really interesting. Because you got to know a little bit more about both of them in a sense like they were like wait i'm the rightful um you know heir to the throne and everything it's like no i am and it's like which one do you choose right um i have a feeling sabalian's evil but at the same time i don't know what's going on the only thing i can hope for and i've said this many times the only thing at the end of the expansion i want to go against um galakrond ride on my goddamn dragon and we have kind of like a dragon battle against him or something like midway through the fight that'd be so goddamn cool and then like maybe if you do if there's like glory of the whatever raid you could get him as a mount oh no not gal gal galcrond or galacrond maybe not because he'd be absolutely goddamn ginormous but maybe you get a cool um dragon for doing that or something but it'd be cool to see. Just please. No no spine of Gal Galakrond. Please. We do not want another spine of Deathwing, you know. Uh, yo, can I pick up this gold? Like, I'll take all that loot, man. I need the gold right now. Alright. Here we go. Oh my god. Little, little cheeky goblin. You see that? He actually picked up the gold. Little goblin. Of course the goblin did. Um, do I kill this ad, or, is, or does he have to just kite it? Alright, so it turns out we actually have to search. Magic items. Hey, oh, I actually did it! Oh, you see that? Yeah, who's the little cheeky goblin now, huh? Apparently me. Oh, I got another one. Hey! That's not very nice. The bosses are so mean to me, man. You see this? That was not a smart idea, x this Don't do that again. That was dumb. <laughs> I just wanted to see what that did. Um, can I do this again? Oh, you can. it's like a DPS race too. Ah, okay. I understand now. I understand. So you use the magic to... Try and get through his shield as quickly as possible. Damn, this dungeon seems like it's going to be really tough on a Tranical Week, now that I think about it. And then the previous one, the previous dungeon I did, seems like it's going to be quite difficult on uh, maybe a Fort Week. Ooh! <laughs> I'm lucky with mounts, man. I am so lucky with mounts. But loot today. Yo, Jell, if you want to do some more dungeons, my dude. Oh, my God. That is insane. There we go. Another piece. So, in the past, two dungeons. I've got four pieces. Yeah, I am very lucky today. Is that everything? It's all the bosses, right? Absolutely all of them? Yep. Damn. Awesome, but guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Obviously, if you did, then make sure you leave a like. Today's dungeon was 
Really, really cool. I actually really like this one. Um, it's going to be tough, though, when Mythic Plus comes out, I think. But overall, it's really, really fun. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out my social media links in the description down below, and have yourself a really nice day. I've been x and I'll catch you in the next one. So, peace!